Jack, we got a treat for us today. What do you think of this bad boy? I think this is the car. This is the car that you need to be in every day. Can I get one of these? I think you should. This... For those of you who don't know what this is, check out this right here. Yeah. Damn. That's right. Damn, that's that 90s American muscle, that's baby. That's right. Woo, you hear that? All six cylinders. Uh, 10. Right, right American. Okay. American. Any, anyway, guys, 96 Dodge Viper. RT10. Because this is the good stuff. You want to get out real quick and show it to him? Oh, no. Yeah, I will. Show it to him real quick. There's no door handle on the outside. It's really cool. Which means you can only open it from the inside. And getting into this thing is like full on go kart. This car Look at this guy. Is good. Nice with the uh, cool stripes, like always. Black, silver. And you know what? The iconic thing that I love is these wheels. This car is the early 90s. This was an icon of the early 90s in automotive design. They brought the Daytona shape back. Uh, ever since Carol Shelby did it with the Shelby Daytona, this was the first car to bring that shape back, and it's the most beautiful shape in the automotive world. Ferrari did it, Shelby did it, Dodge did it. Any of the most iconic, beautiful cars usually have that that design. So even the RX-7, the Mazda RX-7, they did it, smaller version. Uh, you can take it back you there. I'll meet you there. Huh? I'll meet you up there. Will you? I'm going to see this. Sexy back end. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't two step. No two step. I think you can two step. Just kidding. Anyways, this car's been sitting for about 10 years and uh, we're bringing it back to life. It's been a process, it's been a very long process. Um, while we were driving it, there were so many bald spots and flat spots on the tire, so the whole wheel was just shaking, but. Jack did his magic and he got the thing rolling and uh, I think we're gonna talk to the owner and figure out if they wanna sell it, continue the restoration process and uh, see what's happening. So stay tuned and see what, what happens with this beast. This pile is back. This pile of beauty. It's back and it's better than it was. Dude. This guy left, you left my shop, what time? Like, like I'm gonna say four o'clock yesterday. Four or five o'clock yeah. yesterday. Shows up this morning or well, this afternoon, afternoon yeah. at the shop and tells me he's ready to go back on the dyno. I'm like, what? <laughs> he already turbocharged it, intercooled it, put the mega squirt in, did everything, injectors. I love the intercooler. And you know the best part about it? Huh. You street tuned it, we didn't run into one issue. No couplers, no oil leaks. That's a record. No gas leaks. That's a record. Literally, you started it, we drove it, it worked. Not even a breakup. If you go to his channel and see what he, what we just did on the first test drive, it's astonishing. It's honestly amazing. And it's like, it, it kind of tells me when I'm excited about something, yeah. I can get things done fast. Oh yeah. And Definitely. Like, this is the love of my life. Motivation is key. Motivation is key. That's and what's all more, is, man. what's more motivating than the actual Ricer Miata? Nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. This is it. This is <laughs> this is this is Genesis. This is where it all came from. Look at this. The sticker is like crazy. And then you got the Agard Garage. Can you believe all these? I mean, they're faded, but like I can't believe they're actually like holding up. Yeah. What is it? It's been like at least what five, six years. It's been a long time. That's sure. half Drift, a decade. Ready Set Drift was my first drift event. And I actually snuck in. That was the first sticker. <laughs> yeah. You snuck in? Yeah, my first event I used the well, lights passes. I was a poor boy. Oh, the subway days? The, before the subway the days. Before subway? Yeah, you were dude, real I broke. Was broke. Jeez. But, well, you're not anymore. Yeah. Okay, well, ready, set, you. If you hit me up, I'll send you the money for <laughs> the entry that I got. And it was funny because my first lap out, dude, I was so nervous. I actually like spun out and I beached my car. I board slided it. Oh yeah. I wasn't there for the driver's meet. I almost hopped out of the car. Oh my and god. And that's a big no-no. Yeah, no, no, no. Never. never not on track. First time. Yeah. But yeah. well, without going to the uh, driver's meeting, you wouldn't know that. Wouldn't know. So, well, it's back, guys. It's turbo. I'm really excited. Can you show under the hood? 
Can you show them that beautiful gem that's going on here? And like, nothing's messy. Like, I think we put it together very well. I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm really, I'm really happy with how you and Marcus have come along in the, in, in the past year or two. Yeah, man, I'm stoked. Look at this. This is, I mean, again, you, most people look at this, they don't, don't really think it's much different, but this is done well. Everything, you got real oil lines, you got real fuel lines, we have an ECU, there's no FMU on this, piping, everything. It, it's good. And I will say, um, CX Racing, it's not sponsored, but for the money you pay, it Worth really it. isn't a bad kit. It's like, really nice. We did have a couple issues where we were a little confused, but we just went on their website. They have pictures and everything, yeah. and it was pretty straightforward. I think the, the the only part of this kit that could use some improvement is this intake piping or this intercooler piping. Yeah, and the, another thing I didn't like about it is the turbo. It has this um, five bolt flange to V band. Yeah. There's no um, gasket oh, in there. Okay, I see. They didn't bring yeah. a gasket, so I don't know if it's just yeah. so machined yeah. that like it just doesn't leak. But I mean, we it is pretty flat and it's not leaking. And we so. did make seven pounds and it didn't drop or anything. No, it was the pretty AFRs good. Are pretty good. So. I'm happy with that. And I like how you heat wrapped ceramic. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. heat wrap. I have heat wrap on the um, return line. We yeah. did end up using the dipstick, but this is a temporary thing because. I have a forged engine being built at the machine shop right well, now. Well, I, I, I use the dipstick as a drain. I learned that for, from you. Right. I, I yeah. told you about that. I did that because Gretty is actually the first person I saw do that. Really? So Gretty Kit reuses that, okay. that dipstick. So I figure if they've tested it out, mm -hmm. it can't be that bad. And it's like the um, the restrictor feed. It's Dude, it's literally a pencil tip. Yeah. So I can't really see so much oil flowing through that return anyway. If it's not smoking and, and it's doing it's draining properly, you're good to go. You like my welding? I had to like make an uh, extension. <laughs> so I welded that up. Did you stand on it? It's never gonna have that much weight. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to stand on it. It's never gonna have he that just, much weight. I don't he need to decided to it. It's pretty strong. Uh, here, I'll I'll put a little. As if imagine if it fell. It actually, no, it's bomb. good. That's pretty strong. I'm 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 okay with that. Yeah. Good enough for government work. But overall, man, I'm really stoked. My favorite is the stencil. I yeah. can't lie. It the looks great. Great. Dude. It looks great. Oh, I have to bring your white spray paint. Oh yeah, no problem. I forgot about no it. problem. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thunk? This would be the the face. Of the rice or Miata. Yeah, it's junk. It's cool. It's it's junk, but it's not. <laughs> no one needs flex fuel sensors. No one needs no flex one. fuel Just sensors. 100 percent 85, 100 percent of the time. There it is. Eight miles to the gallon. Smiles per gallon. Look at this guy over here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Fixed. He's <laughs> done. Actually, right. that doesn't spin, so I guess it didn't matter. So we've got Rudnick's Ricer Miata back on the dyno, this time with E85. It's gonna make more power. It's gonna make over 200. I wanna see 220. Though. That would be great. That's like my goal right now. You think, um, you think that wastegate actuator is gonna be able to be cranked up that high? Just put a T in it. Right? Just take it off. That's a, just pull the line off. Well, we do have a boost gauge. I, I'm okay with 15 pounds. 15 pounds. 15 pounds. I don't wanna go anything more than that. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Take it off, that turbo's not gonna last a week with him driving. You think so? China no. turbo? That's when you buy a Garrett and then you make 300. The Wuhan War Whistler? I was already sending it out here yesterday. I'm like, I was sending it. it. Yeah? Yeah, that street tune did me good. Okay. Second gear drifts. That Ching Chong Choo Choo? Oh, yeah. In Mexico, dude, I was, I was turning it. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. So we're gonna turn the boost up right now. We're gonna crank this thing up with the 85. Let's see what it can do. It's so hard. What? <laughs> That's a great way for me to start this clip. <laughs> it's so hard, man, you know? Yeah. It, it, it's hard to get ahead. It is hard. Jeez. Jeez. Well, it is, yeah, it's Ooh. crazy. All right, so we just got done on the dyno. It made some good numbers. Good numbers. Chris is happy. Well, we're just going to send it, ready? Yeah, it's fine. We're going to see how it goes. She was just spinning, so you know it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, this is kind of <laughs> this is kind of roadstery, isn't it? Yeah, it feels great, man. Oh boy! And for the number we're at, I'm really excited for the new engine with the yeah. new turbo and stuff. This thing's gonna be scary, especially with that welded dip. It like it already wants to drift when I'm just driving, like oh man, on the street. Chris so. is going to his danger danger circuit. I know. Don't want to get too rowdy. No, just one little pull and then. Not 
So the Reister Miata is running good. Really happy with that. He's gonna take that to the track, or not to the track, but to the uh, drift spot at the compound and he's gonna slide that thing around. So in the meantime, now, I got the dash for this car and I mounted it up. Kind of ghetto mounted it for now, but this is a good position. Nice, easy to see. I just have to get the cable, but it's all hooked up. So you can see the display is going to be very nice. This is this is how it's going to kind of look. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's the IQ3. Fits nicely. And that'll replace the old worn out Apex tack that I had. It's it's trash now. But upgrades upgrades are good. So stay tuned for that. We've got a cable coming that's going to allow me to connect that to uh, the the electromotive, and we'll get all the data off of that. So. Excited to see that. Sam it! Yo! Damn it, Sam it! What? What do you think? You think Racer Miata is gonna last? Or you think it's you know. think its days are numbered? I think it is. Just yeah. because of that turbo. It's, it's pretty sad. It's chintzy. Yeah. I could hear it. I know. It was it was tearing itself apart. But we'll see. When's your Miata coming together? Um engine's being assembled, picking it up. Monday. Okay. So just the bottom end's getting assembled, and we just got to put the head and everything on. Easy. Um, and then, yeah, all of next week, it's just bolt-ons and put everything together. So if we're lucky by next end of next weekend. But uh, I may have a little secret. Oh. Know about. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll leave it there. Go to Sam's channel. Go check him <laughs> out. See what's going on with his car and more to come with this one. So we'll see you guys in the next one.